and the other important thing is keep telling the solution to the interviewer that will not only save you time but also give you results and once once you get result right you will start to feel self confidence i got placed at raise pay for the position of software development engineer hi everybody welcome back to coding ninjas youtube channel this is shorya gupta and this is another video in the interview experiences series all the success stories of the candidates now today aaj hamare sath hai mohammad arif jinhone razor pay se ek placement offer grab kara hai after giving a successful interview so just to start with this video and just to begin with this video quickly i'll hand over this platform to mohammad arif so hi arif welcome to this platform Hi, Shor. Thank you for having me over. It's great to have you, Arif. Why don't you just start with introducing yourself? Hi, audience. My name is Arif, and I am 2021 graduate from IIT BHU, Varanasi. I got placed at Razor Pay for the position of software development engineer, and I have been working there for the past one and a half years. That is great, Arif. That is so great. So, Arif, why don't you just start by telling us that you started coding when you started your journey? Yeah, sure. So, I was from a non-secretarial background. So, my branch was civil. Okay. So, for me, oh. it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my second year, I was still working there. So, for me, it was quite new. So, at the end of my So okay. I consistently started working on CP, mm-hmm. and it was during one year before placement where I started giving a proper amount of time to it, okay. where I mastered different concepts. Okay, that is great. So Arif, just to start with this interview experience, why don't you just start by telling us that you have how many rounds were there, and what was the medium they like? Did you have online? Did you have online? From campus, like a company visit, did you have online? Did you have online? Did you have online? Did you have online? Yeah, fair. Uh, was it totally offline? You went to the company's office, raised the pay's office, and then gave it there. So for me, the process was completely on campus. I had campus placement for multiple companies. So okay. the interview there were three rounds. Each of the rounds were around forty to forty-five minutes. But okay. before that, there is a online test which they conduct at okay. the campus. So need to qualify that in order to be eligible okay. for the interview. Okay. So in total, वैसे कहने को चार आपके राउंड्स हुए थे इंक्लूडिंग द कोडिंग टेस्ट राइट यस यस ओके सो व्हाट वाज दिस कोडिंग टेस्ट इसका क्या डिफिकल्टी लेवल था हाउ मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स वर देयर एंड व्हाट वाज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ दिस कोडिंग टेस्ट या सो ड्यूरेशन वाज 45 मिनट्स टू वन आवर बिकॉज़ दैट इज कैप्ड बाय अ प्लेसमेंट सेल कांट टेक मोर टाइम देन दैट द क्वेश्चन दैट आई गॉट वाज रिगार्डिंग स्ट्रिंग हाउ डू यू कन्वर्ट वन स्ट्रिंग टू अदर गिवन अ नंबर ऑफ रिस्ट्रेंट So okay. there's a way of putting these solutions. Is that you first start with a brute force approach, where you tell the interviewer what would be the most brute force approach of solving the problem. Then you go on telling about solutions which are both space and time optimized. Mm-hmm. So uh, taking a step by step closer to solve a problem that will give a better knowledge that you have to the interviewer. Okay. Also, one thing that the was on Google Docs. It was not on on okay. any IDE. Yeah. Okay. So that is an important point. You do not get any of the mm-hmm. IDE functionality. So you have to write the thing down. Make sure that you do not make any syntactical errors because th- those are bound to happen in a Google Doc. Right. And the other important thing is keep telling the solution to the interviewer. It is possible right. that you may not be able to actually code the solution, but it is important you convey what approach you are going to take to solve that problem. Right. Right. Some really helpful tips there from Arif. Now, Arif, what was uh, you know your experience from the these three rounds of interviews? Like first, वाले में आपसे क्या क्या पूछा गया? And what was the duration of it? And was it a technical round? And uh, why don't you just you know just tell that? Yes. So the first one was pure technical. It was also a okay. qualifying round, so you had to go to the next one. So mm-hmm. I told you the question was on string, and right, I right. also took this approach where all the possible solutions for that problem, and I went for the next round. Now okay. in the next round, the questions were on my resume. I had listed all the projects that I had done and the internships that I had done. So this round okay. was on my projects and on my resume. And important thing was they asked me to code down a model calculator using object-oriented programming. so this okay. was an important part the questions that they asked those are not standard lead code questions they will be mm-hmm. a, a variation of that so you need to focus on concepts rather than going through the questions on lead code okay so and the third final was my mm-hmm. hr manager round so in that okay. there were standard hr questions 
where okay. they ask like why do you want to join this app to make sure that you uh, well research about the company that you're going to apply mm. that is important make sure you ask good questions because that will give a good impression to the interviewer right so that is something you know really helpful and again and again hum logo ne videos mein dekha hai that everybody says ki agar aap kisi hr interview ke liye ja rahe ho if you have your hr interview scheduled then you should you know research about the company at least ki company karti kya hai so that up easily jaise abhi arif ne bataya you can easily answer the question of why do you want to join us okay so arif what was the difficulty level according to you of all the three rounds to sum this interview experience up why don't you tell us what is the difficulty level according to you of all the you know whole process uh, so sure the process was very smooth i'll tell you my process started at 12 there were three consecutive okay. rounds and at each of the step the interviewers were super helpful beat the first round or the second or even the third managerial round i made a small mistake of telling that like laravel is a programming language it was a slip of tongue where i said that laravel is a programming language instead of a framework so he caught on that yeah mm. and i was also quickly correct rectify it so it is important that whatever you write on your resume make sure that you know entire things about it and please do not write any points that you do not this cheez ka bahut dhyan rakhna hota hai aapko ki agar aap suppose you know sirf ek wo पॉइंट गेन करने के लिए कि हाँ हमारा रिज्यूमे शॉर्टलिस्ट हो जाए एंड वी गेट शॉर्टलिस्टेड इन दिस प्रोसेस अगर आप ऐसे लिखते हो कि यस आई नो अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड जब आपसे इंटरव्यू में पूछ रहे हैं आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस के बारे में ए ओ स्टार एल गोर्दम या फिर ऐसा कुछ डीप क्वेश्चन पूछ लिया देन आप वहां फंस जाओगे एंड देन यूल बी लाइक कि हाँ मेरे को बेसिक्स आता है ए आई का मेरे से बेसिक्स पूछ लो सो नेवर लाई ऑन योर रिज्यूमे कि आपने कुछ कह दिया आपको आता है बट यू डोंट रियली नो दैट बिकॉज जैसे हमने आरिफ के साथ देखा पूरे एक्सपीरियंस में सेकंड इंटरव्यू जो राउंड था उसमें इनसे रिज्यूमे बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए थे सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट फॉर शॉर्ट लिस्टिंग रिज्यूमे बट आपसे उसमें इंटरव्यू में भी क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाएंगे सो दिस यू शुड रिमेंबर गाइस ओके आर नाउ वी आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो दिस इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एट द एंड आई हैव द स्पेशल सेक्शन जहां पे मैं आपसे थ्री क्वेश्चंस पूछूंगा नाउ दिस इज बेसिकली फॉर द पीपल हु आर यू नो जस्ट स्टार्टिंग आउट और ऑन द मिडिल ऑफ द जर्नी या फिर वो अभी बिल्कुल कल उन लोग के इंटरव्यूज हैं So the first one for the beginners is ki when to start coding and how many hours in a day to devote to coding. So I'll divide this answer into two sections. So for okay. those who are from circuit or branch, so you will starting me you will get exposure among friends. So you will start quite early on in first year or second year. You don't need to worry on that. Your core concepts and your development will go hand in hand. My friends, those who are in non-sector branch, so you will have some difficulty. So take a step by step and a targeted approach. Ideally, okay. six to eight months of targeted approach with three to four hours a day that should suffice in qualifying you for the test that you will get on the on-campus interviews. <laughs> okay. So according to Arif, if you are you know just about to prepare for your placements, if you are in third year or even second year, if you have your internships coming in third year, then it's about time that you start coding. है ना इट्स नॉट लाइक कि आपको फर्स्ट ईयर से शुरू कर दी है इट्स लाइक कि अगर आपका थर्ड ईयर में प्लेसमेंट शुरू होने वाली है देन इट इज बेटर कि आप सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स पहले शुरू कर दो कोडिंग को एंड दैट टाइम इज इनफ ओके आर एफ सो कमिंग ऑन टू द सेकंड क्वेश्चन दिस इज फॉर दोज हु आर यू नो जिन्होंने अभी डी एस कंप्लीट कर लिया है एंड आर इन द मिडल ऑफ द जर्नी एंड अभी वो डेवलपमेंट पे जाना चाहते हैं या फिर कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग पे जाना चाहते हैं सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फॉर यू दैट हाउ मैनेज टाइम बिटवीन डी एस एंड डेवलपमेंट या फिर डी एस या कॉलेज basically how to manage time between two learning things that's a very good question sure so ideally what you should do is give a proper time to both dsa and development so it's not like a company will only hire you for dsa or only hire you for right. uh, cp uh, you need to have a balance of both of them so i thought you should do is so let's say you're doing a project or doing an internship so that will cover your development part meanwhile mm-hmm. daily you can give two Three hours in that for your CP because after your internships, most colleges what they do the placement test start after the internships. So okay. you get cut off for those two three months where you do not have any CP on your hand. You quite start to forget it. So you need right. to regularly brush up your skill that you are able to qualify the test the interviews. Right, right, exactly. So this is the last question that if you have a chance to here to go back into the past. and give one piece of advice ya fir ek aisi guidance dene ka to the rf who is preparing for placements right now so that unka process kafi simple ho jaye smooth ho jaye ya fir unki ek tension hat jaye 
So what is that advice basically that you would like to give to your juniors who are preparing for placements? First of all, please don't take tension because things will work out. Secondly, take a targeted approach because that will not only save you time but also give you results. And once once you get result right, you will start to feel self confidence. All right. So thank you, Arif, for your kind words and you know. such a lot of guidance that you gave here today a lot of tips that you gave here today i'm sure hamari audience jo hai jinhone aaj ye video dekhi hai it will your tips and guidance will help them out in their, in their placement process thank you arif for taking out time and interviewing with us it was a pleasure to have you on this platform thank you, thank you for having me same here so guys agar aapko ye video achhi lage ho and agar aap interview experience padhna chahte ho aise hi bahut sare arif jaise so go on to code studio platform and you can find a lot of interview experiences there along with a lot of resources that are going to help you in the placement process jaise ki guided paths and a lot of problems based upon companies and various topics so guys if you like this video so do like it and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the coding ninjas youtube channel for more such amazing content thank you